Today's vlog is all about gouache. Is this how you pronounce it? Gouache. Gouache. It's gouache. I think it's called gouache. I think it's called gouache. 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 I follow a lot of artists on Instagram and on YouTube. A lot of gouache artists. I really like how their art looks like with gouache. So I thought I'd give it a try. And I ordered some Holbein gouache primary colors to start with. And I've been trying to draw with them. It's really not that easy. But yeah, I realized I need <laughs> a lot of practice, obviously. In in this vlog we are going to draw a lot with gouache. I am trying to get better at it. Well, it's October, I'm drawing Peachtober prompts most of the time. Today's prompt is lava and that's what we're gonna draw now. I would call myself a digital artist, so I'm more used to drawing on my iPad and it's really it's really difficult sometimes to draw with pen and paper and paint and I can't erase stuff when I want to. You know, you have to think about every stroke you make and that's really overwhelming sometimes. You really have to concentrate on what you are doing. I am excited for the progress I'm hopefully going to make. I painted something yesterday but I accidentally erased the footage. Yeah, let's draw. This is the painting I did yesterday. I'm not like, I, I don't totally hate it, but I'm also, I kind of don't like the black outlines. I'm not gonna do this today. I don't like, I don't, I think the colors are okay because I mix them myself. I only have the these five colors, so I have to mix them myself. So keeping that in mind, I think this turned the colors turned out fine. And I think also the, the concept is cool, like this witch with the sunflowers, the theme was field. That also is nice, but I don't like the black outlines because I think they are too harsh. I want something softer so first of all I will not sketch the outlines with a mechanical pencil I have a mechanical pencil and I did the outlines with this or with another mechanical pencil and they were very dark and bold I thought I'd paint over them but I actually didn't so they always showed through so I am going to draw the outlines with a colored pencil this time I think something like this like a brighter one and then I'm going to draw with gouache paint over it so I think that will look better or more like what I want to achieve yeah I'm going to draw the lava prompt this is the sketch I really like it it's a witch again I'm really into witches right now because it's October <laughs> And this is a witch and her kettle and in the kettle there's lava and she also has a furry friend and uh, she has two furry friends actually because oh, there's another can you see her and yeah I'm going to transfer this from my iPad to the paper and then we're gonna color it I hope I'll do better this time This is the original sketch. This is it transferred to paper, so it's pretty similar. There are some slight differences, like her face is a little bigger in here than here. And the little cat also looks a little different, but that's okay. Now we will start coloring. So I have these. Colors. They're Holbein gouache paints. 
these are pretty big tubes. They're like, what are they? 20 milliliters. 20 milliliters. Yes. For the Americans, it's this. I only bought the primary colors because they are so expensive and I first wanted to try them out before I buy any more colors and I really like them so far. You can mix these. You know, you can see here if you mix, let's say, magenta with cyan, you get this purple. And if you mix that with white, you get this light lavender color, which I think is really cool. You know, it would be very, like, a lot easier if I just had, like, these colors and not have to mix them. But like this, I also learned something about color theory, which is also cool. This is the finished artwork. I think I like it. I have to look at it again in the morning so I can really tell if I like it or not. And I didn't... I did use a black liner for the eyes because I wanted them to pop out a little more. Um, but besides from that, I didn't use any black liner and I think it looks really cool like this. This is it for today. I am going to bed now and I'll talk to you tomorrow. that we are going to a art supply store because I I was just in the mood to go to 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 an art supply store and that's what we're going to do now from the store and I'm gonna do a little haul. I got these gouache paints. They are huge in these colors. 
They are by Schminke. They are called Academie Gouache. There is also the, I don't know the name, something with H. Horam or something like that. Those are the artist grade gouache paint. And these are the academic gouache paints. These are bigger and the quality is not as high like these are not the the high quality gouache by Schminke but I thought as I am a beginner with gouache these will be fine because they're still very good and I looked for the Windsor and Newton ones but they didn't have it so these are the colors I got I got the white I love that it's a very big tube. I can already tell with my whole line gouache tubes that the white is kind of used up because I mixed it a lot with other colors and I think it will be the same with this one. That's why I bought a white and I also bought beige, I don't know what is this called, sand. The color is called sand. Orange, just normal orange. Olive green, I really like this color. Then I got this mixed media, mixed media sketch painting whatever book. Scratches on it, okay. Because I didn't have A4 paper for um, wash. I only have like a sketchbook, and the sketchbook is A5, and then I have like A3, so it's really big. And this is uh, A4, so I got this one. And I also got some pencils. I purchased two Pigma Micron liners. One is in 05 and one in 01. These are brown, like light brown and dark brown. And I got these because I think black looks too harsh sometimes with gouache so I got these and I thought maybe I can do the outlines with these sometimes and that will look more natural you know and I also get these colored pencils these are by Faber Castell the poly polychromos I thought these colors look so nice together don't they some of them are also matching with the gouache I got you know the this one with this one and the olive green or the olive green yeah I really like these colors and then I also got this cute palette it's ceramic and it has like a big cut out shape here and then it has little ones so I also got masking tape this is like a very big roll this is a medium roll and the small roll I think I will take the small roll to um, useful painting if I need it. I'm going to eat something now, like have dinner and then after that we are going to draw. We're doing today's peach toba prompt which is town. I already sketched out something, let me show you. It's a really rough sketch but yeah, the prompt is town and this is my reference picture and this is a little witch and her furry friend a cat and i don't know i don't know if oops i don't know if you can see it but these are like houses like in a little town and i will finalize the sketch and then transfer it onto paper i think i'm gonna use my new paper here my mixed media paper This is the sketch I am going to go with. I am going to transfer it to paper.
I think I'm finished. I'm not too happy with the result. It's okay. I think it's, it's okay, but it could be better. I don't like her. I think she looks weird. Wait, let me show you up close. I don't really like her face expression. I like the colors though, and I love these. They were really awesome. I I think I'm still gonna post it, but I don't really like it that much. But I'm gonna um, play around with these colors a lot more because I really like them. I, it was so much fun to paint with them. I mean, you know, I'm still learning, but I liked it. And I'm going to draw more tomorrow. And... I'll see you then. Good night. Hi. I don't know where my mic is. I'm just gonna talk to the camera. Sorry if the audio quality isn't very good. I have to take my lenses out. They're really itching sometimes. I don't know if I'm allergic, so I have to take them out now. One second. Put some eye drops in, so I'm not crying. We went downtown and we went by an art supply store and I couldn't not go in, so I'm gonna show you. Oh, there it is. I've been looking for these yesterday and I couldn't find them in the other store so I was very sad. There were a lot of different colors, there was also pink and purple, yellow, but I decided for green, blue and red. These are mechanical pencils, they're by Pilot, they're called Pilot Color Eno in 0.7 and they look like this. And I think these are great for sketching. And now we are going to sketch something for today's Peachtober prompt, which is shell. Paint with gouache again. And I didn't, <laughs> the painting from yesterday, this one, I really hate it. Like, I think it's so ugly. So I redid it, like, digitally. Let me show you. And I think this one turned out so much better. You can't really see the colors like this. You can also check out my Instagram because I post all of my artwork that I think is good enough. <laughs> I post on my Instagram. And I really like the colors in this. But it's okay, you know, not everything has to be beautiful and pretty and I don't have to like everything I make. My digital art skill level is so much higher than my um, analog art skill level and I'm trying to catch up. I want to improve my my traditional art skills. I'm talking too much. Um, we're gonna start sketching now. Um, first I'm gonna do a little more research and then we can continue Peachtober. <laughs> This is the sketch now. It's a little witch and a turtle and this shape is supposed to look like a shell and the turtle has a shell and she has a shell earring so I think I incorporated shell enough. I am very hungry. We're gonna make dinner now. After that I'm going to continue this. Okay, see you later. I'm kind of mad at myself. I'm just going to sleep now. 
Hello. It's the next day. Yesterday's drawing was really disappointing. I don't know. I I watched videos on gouache and maybe I can I can do it better today. After my gouache painting yesterday, I also did the digital version of it. I like this a lot more. So I sketched out something for today's prompt which is trunk. This is my sketch. These are the outlines. I'm really excited to draw this because I really like I really like the composition. Let's see if I can transfer this into a nice gouache painting because right now I'm not so sure. I also decided that I will pick the colors beforehand so I will see what kind of colors I want to use now so that it doesn't look weird later on. My washing machine is making weird sounds, I have to check that. really like how this one turned out it's like from all the ones that I did in this past days this is my favorite one I think it's really cute and I like the colors I think they they go very well together if I could change one thing, it will be her skirt. I don't like it as much, but it's okay. I still think it's really cool. And I'm really happy with it. And I'm done with this painting. I think I'm going to cut this studio vlog here. I am really excited to draw more with gouache because I think it's a really interesting medium I really like like from all of the drawings I did this one is my favorite I think it turned out really cute so I'm going to take some pictures and put this on Instagram thank you for watching this video I hope you liked it if you did you should subscribe to my channel and also give this video a thumbs up if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments I don't know if I can answer them because I'm not a pro on gouache, but I will try my best. I hope to see you soon. Bye!